it's only five. It's only five. There it's not wee, alive. There was a wee, it was going 100% too. There was a wee bolt broke on it there just last night actually. So I need to get one, but I just haven't got around to that yet. So <laughs> we're just we're, we're having to steer the day. Uh, this is the year where grass men seems to be going to all the grass men, only horrible men. <laughs> we're, um, we're out and seeing Johnny Sloan. He was combining at the weekend. You made a big upgrade. I last year uh, yeah. changed to this here from, uh, well, she's at what, Lexington 570, from uh, TX34 New Hall. That, that's a big upgrade. Big upgrade, aye. Well, the majority of my stuff's sort of winter wheat and spring barley, which is generally in the September time, you know, and the yes. days aren't that long come then, you know, and I was sort of thinking something a wee bit more output. You could get it snagged off a bit quicker, you Just know. Just a wee bit more output. Well, a wee bit more output. Oh, I know she can definitely get a lot of stuff like. Like, we're, we, I suppose, at Grassmen, and like, we're all around England and that back and forth, as you know, and by, uh, yeah. by no means is this a massive no. combine no, in, today, today, in no. today's world. However, the 570 is a combine that we learned a little bit about through a real good friend, Alec Wilkinson. Yes. Hate about love at 570, but she was flagship at the time. She was at a time, like back when would have been, well, that's his old name, she was probably 06, 07, I think, under that sort of they thing. They would have been the flagship, and then the, the 600, yeah. and then they've progressed a couple of different times since then. Since that, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, in relative terms, stepping away from maybe England, or even big horrible belts that you get in Ireland even, yeah. and, and a wee bit in the north, for a contractor who predominantly cuts grass like yourself, this is a big combine to have. Yeah, yeah, cheers, cheers. Um, look here, what I'm cutting, I couldn't justify a new combine, one of them, you know, one of them big ones, you're talking about the 8 series or that class, or I'm the surge on there under them new X nines and stuff now, like it just wouldn't add up for me for that sort of size of a thing, but. But even that type of a machine, like we've, we've studied the X9 at, um, Eastern Farms there this year. We've seen it last year at Walderson Farms. These are these are monsters capable of a hundred plus ton an hour. That, yeah, yeah. that that like and you. <laughs> I'm not being smart, but any fields we've seen them operating in would have been all these together under one. Yeah, no, well, that's the difference. Like yeah, Max nice there. Well, because when he was saying like like 125 ton to the hour that we're up to um, and wait like which is just crazy. You know, I don't need something like that sort of size for what I'm calling. You know, um, but she has a big upgrade for me. Like, guy, she's ninety. Like, I had her up to what sixty-eight ton there last year, spring wheat. There's a lot of winter wheat to cut this year, so I'm looking forward to seeing yeah. what she can do in that. You know, pretty much. You've modified this combine for the straw situation. That's a wee bit weird looking because you see these wee tiny rows of straw, but yeah. this big combine with a twenty-five foot head. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I had seen, I had saw guys doing it with hybrid machines, and I just sort of thought over here, a lot of guys maybe would be slightly nervous about a 25 foot header. You know, the amount of straw is going to be behind her type thing. And, well, that is an issue here in this country. <laughs> well, because it's usually going to rain, like, pretty much, most but, of the time. But guys are nervous, like, I remember even years ago, guys are nervous. A lot of guys will buy it that have even upgraded over the last few years to bigger combines have have limited the size of the head. Yeah. Purely based on straw. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I saw this here and on those YouTube or something. I saw guys in America doing it. Um, and I made a job just because she's hybrid rotor, two rotors, like just made a wee divider at the back of her, so she's coming out and the two rows, like, which is ideal for some guy that wants to go in with a small baler. Or, you know, if the straw wasn't just right, you can go in with a wee rake and just flip them over into the middle, and it's 100% like that's really for me, pretty much. 25 foot of row, you know, a baler, a round baler, or a big square, no, no ball. You know, here, but, on, but on the winter, on on that on that winter crop, the volume of straw, especially if growth regulators and that haven't been used, yeah, you can end up with a a row that's hard to dry. Aye, and you don't go far to get a bale. <laughs> no, 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 that's very true, very true. So I know, made that there myself, just sort of made a wee thing I was going to get actually 
be it out of stainless or something, but I'll never just go right to that yet. Um, and it's doing the job 100%. Nah, it's a great job. It's only four bolts holds it on. Um, you can whip it off like if there's not much straw, or the guy doesn't want it to vent. Nah, I just take it off. And, and well, has anybody it. not wanted it to vent? There's a few people don't. They just go with it. With a normal, you know, the 25 foot header, but if the weather's there now, it's grand, like it's grand, you know. Does anybody here chop the straw? No, no, well, out of the combine, you mean? Aye. <laughs> no, we wouldn't know. We're sort of pretty big livestock area here, and most guys are wanting to keep it, you know. The only straw chopped sort of was beans, so beans there last year, chopped that, just. Don't to see that it works. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very so you true. got your demo by the 570 yeah. and that was you sold on a 570? Yeah, yeah. Look, I thought she probably was going to be too big, but whenever I seen what she could do, you know, she was the one I got was on tires and she was a 900. She was she was too wide for a lot of places I had to go. And then I started looking for one on tracks because she's only uh, she's 10 foot 8 wide. She's narrower than my 34 was. Some of the places we have to go, it's not just, you know, I couldn't have worked with a wide body, one like the 580 or 600, too wide, for some of the places we have to go. Um, so I know, really loved the scene what she done with straw, and it was, it was 100% and the output was just unreal. Like you're really into, you're into a six straw walker plus output type thing. On a I on the whip on a five. On a five walker, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that. So, hey. So you're combining away here, so your header's a V750, so that's a seven and a half meter. Yeah. So that's 25 foot. Yeah. What does V mean? And v. I am maybe being a wee bit stupid when I say this, but that means she's variable. Variable, yeah. So what's variable. variable? That means you can shoot your you can shoot your see your knife section there where your your knife yeah. is on, your finger size and that. You can shoot that in or out, like probably there's plates you can get. Um, to put in behind it, you can shoot her out, probably in her out about two feet, roughly. So why? Well, for different sort of crops, like you can move it like a lion down barley. I find it handier to shoot the yeah, put her out a forward. Bit. Yeah. So she's cutting it, and then you're combing it and pulling it over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's on this combine probably if it's when a new one. I don't know if it'll run for it, but well, it's on her. Why? You know. What? I just depending on price. So yeah. then you'd be running. So because this is reasonably well lodged. You'd be running your reel down good and low. Yeah. So yeah. you're once it's cut, you're you want to catch it and flick it and the rotor, is that the plan? Yeah, yeah, that's the plan. And that's I don't the plan. <laughs> That's the plan. Sorry for it, but I'm just I'm asking because I'm not hundred percent sure. <laughs> Johnny um, and then if Johnny Five was on you wouldn't even have to steer. Johnny Five was working hundred percent to last night there, but we'll get him sorted here. He's just broken the bracket. It was just a wee bolt broke that holds the wee clip up on, but I hadn't just time to get him going again. Um he's a great job. You know, just takes that wee bit of well, just an oil pilot, it's like an oil pilot type thing. As long as you have a nice standing row, you know, if it's down flat stuff, she'll not work out well. But if you have a nice standing crop of barley or wheat or that, she'll fall just up the side, no problem. Do you think, uh, have you been in any wet conditions with it yet? Tricky? No, no, I haven't. That was another right, that was another plan with the tracks, you know. She should hopefully carry well with the tracks, but it's only last summer and this summer. Well, so far, though, I haven't been in any wet ground, so I don't know how well she just it's going to carry. Oh, well, it's, it's going to be better. I it should be better, yeah, than I've ever seen. It should be, it should be, so... Well, hopefully we don't get, yeah, hopefully I don't have to try it right this year either. For last year, it was great, the harvest, you know. It was so good and, well, it's around here at the minute so far. Blake wants a new Puma. He does? Yeah. Did he tell you that? Why are you not getting them one? <laughs> Uh, I'll see, I'll see. I thought you were getting converted to John Deere. That's your job, you bought a 175. <laughs> yeah. And he's been he seems to like it alright, you know. He wouldn't tell you that. But he's been spreading a good bit of lime with it. Um, I know Blake's done a fair bit of lime with the uh, with, uh, 175 and really likes Well, he can't be sitting really likes it. He really likes the auto charge on it, but I think he is coming, you know. Seriously? Being if you hold him off in the camera. I'm not a wee while you'll get him convinced. I don't know, I don't know. What do you think yourself? What's he said on the I like the look of them new pumas though. Uh, as much as I'm a deer man. <laughs> they do look mean. Uh, they do look mean, aye, uh, they do. And she's done right and well for you. She hasn't been bad though, a couple of wee stupid things. But no, not too bad. I'll complain that much about her. 
Gavin as were. To me, this is an incredibly, to me, even coming from the grass man side of things, this is an incredibly modern combine. Well, she's still 13 year old. She's still 13 year old, uh, <laughs> for over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm not saying she's modern at all. For no, 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 but I, you, I, I'm, I'm, you know, us, you know, yes, we we have filmed and seen some of these lovely X9s and some of these big new class Lexians, and I'm not taken away from that, but I mean, sitting out with my me mate, combining. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. She, I, would, I would call this a modern combine. For over a year, it would be probably, yeah. Uh, for the acres we're cutting, like she is. I just like the fact that you can go and get a bit done on a day, you know. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, contract, going good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's been a pretty good year. It hasn't been too bad, not too many breakages or things went wrong, but just the whole cost of everything just now, you know yourself. Um, diesel costs, massive, like, big, 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 big problem this year. I don't know. Starting to come back a wee bit there. No, but how did you manage that? Because that's a real issue. Just try to get money in a wee bit quicker, off guys, and those boys were understanding. Were guys understanding all the day, yeah? Those farmers, yeah, we're 100 percent yeah, they were, to be fair. For everybody well, they know all themselves, like the price of diesel too. Um but uh, just I don't know. It's just been tough enough that way, cash flow's been a problem, you know. That's been a problem. But Has that been a problem because you're not making any money or because you're trying to fund the diff? You take diesel yeah. at a differential of 50, 60 p a litre. Yeah, yeah, it would be easily. Yeah. It's a fair wee bit like. You're not long at now, in real terms, you're not long at adding in an extra 20, 30 grand in the country. No, dear. And just no. finding 20, 30 grams is not straightforward. forward. It's not, no. It's definitely not, um, but that's what it is. Like, like my diesel bill this year's been shocking. I'm sure most contractors have yeah. the same, like, almost like, um, I don't know, just we're just metering everything this year and sort of charging accordingly. Every job's different, type of thing, so you sort of have an idea. Is that how you sort of went about it? Yeah, we thought that was sort of fair. We worked on a BS rate, and if you used more diesel, you paid for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, look, I thought it was the fairest way to do the job, like, you know, to everybody, second type thing for... Some jobs you use more diesel than what you think you would too, like, you know... So what's changing then? You're, you're, you're the big red rock tanker. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's the last time you were out, mommy. Yeah. So we changed the rake too, the motors, this year. Um, what else did it change? You went well, for... One to have a five, John Deere, one of her, there. But I don't want another tractor. And I know the boy you bought her off. You do, aye, yeah, that's right. And then the rig will change the 3600 four rubber class rig to 4800 there, their new style of class will out. So then, yeah, I mean, three probably have. Yeah. Is there much lime spreading happening? Yeah, well, we're busy in the springtime there, we're not lined out, so we're off a wee bit. That's the place to reset, but there's a few guys on them. Four nine here, we're all guys talking about it at the back end of the year type thing. So, you know, after. What oh, about your little toy you bought yourself? What was that, man? Your favourite toy in the yard. Favourite toy in the yard? Uh huh. Oh, but we spray her. Ah, yes. Mel, I'll have to see you at work and now, we'll maybe have to. I have to call, see. Do you any spray any do? I fully do have spray to do. Well, there's one around me here, there, but I know there's usually a fair bit of spray on. Um, I, we bought me Sam, Sam SLC 3000 she has. We upgrade from the from the night Crusader. You ever see her? No, maybe you didn't Aye. see her. Maybe you didn't see her. Um, I look here. She's one sex control and auto, well, she has an auto steer, but she's, she's a big upgrade for me anyway. But I like that. Um, but I touch wood going well. You've been swimming about you spraying lots of places, weren't there? Yeah, but uh, I never know where you'd find me spraying. <laughs> Them boys are arguing it's to get a good, good excuse for getting me out of covered silos and I had to go spraying, but I generally do have to go spraying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I do, so yeah. That's, I know it's a good job now, it's a good job, so. Hopefully she keeps going well. She's been doing sense in her. Not too many of them saw them about here. No, not too many self-propelled sprayers about. Right really? Here. No, not really, I suppose. Not really. She's just 
you think is a big upgrade from a tractor? What's your thoughts, sir? I have a lot, yeah, that kind of is definitely a self propelled machine, it's always better than a tractor, I find. You can tell me with a big M or and a butterflies, you know. Um, yeah, but you don't have a big M. I oh, know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few guys cut their own butt too, I don't know what they did back M. The young boy kicks me out of the harvester, maybe you never know what we might do then. Oh, you'll need something to pacify yourself. <laughs> That'll not be butt cracking anyway. I've never, <laughs> never really tried that much. He always oh, told you... me how easy that was, you know, maybe you should be trying about this butt cracking. Huh? <laughs> should have? Oh, you better be safe or not, bother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe, 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 go off, maybe. <laughs> so we need a. So you need to buy a smith. Right. And then you love your rake, you love your new sprayer, and you love your new lime spreader. Aye, well, yeah, 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 the lime spreader, I was last year, so you know, I love it. I love it. I love it. Just here. Nah, it's just because I'll be double stroke going around there. You know what we're going to look for here, Garth, I'll take it. I always thought you will. I like how it's done oh. a bad job, hey. There should be stolen. I'll jump out. Aye, you want one that, innit? No. I think that's a good point to terminate the terminate the interview, Gavin. Right, good to see you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go out and lift the stone here. We'll throw it in and see what it does. No, we'll not bother. What happens? No, we'll just not bother. <laughs> <laughs> Take my word for it. Good man, hey. Good to good, see you, Gavin. Good to catch you up again, boy. Oh. Dead on tears. <laughs> I hope it never goes